Some of the stuff I'm just going to say of what I've been doing um, and what I've seen other people doing. Um, and also, um, someone had also asked me what assists or what characters go well with him. Um, so I'm going to be breaking that down into two different sections of today's video. And I hope you guys will enjoy. So, with no further ado, um, one of 17's main um, ways to harass people, because that's what he's quite good at with his records is using his, um, I think it's called Axle Drive, I feel like the move name, which is this move here, Axle Driver, and what some 17 players do, which can get them in a lot of trouble, is they mash square, and if you mash square, um, this is what will happen when you're using Axle Drive, is this. Now, it's not necessarily bad, but doing this it's very predictable because what people see is they see mid mid overhead low so and the whole point of this move is for you to actually be mixing the opponent up um, as you can see by pressing different inputs second gear low gear fake out um, it allows you to mix up the intervals so for example if someone's doing um, crouch block all the time if you did um, this into forward heavy straight away, um, forward light punch, sorry, it mixes up the um, alternation of the uh, harassment. So instead of just doing this brainlessly and not thinking about it, what you can do is this, like start mixing it up, you know, start doing stuff like that. And when you're doing stuff like that, then they have to actively think, okay, he's going to do it low here, and let me, let me start blocking low. Or he's going to do the overhead now, let me stand, um, stand up. And that's when the kind of basic mix-up game gets into into play. Um, alongside that, um, if you think your opponent, or if you've got a hard read and think your opponent is gonna mash out a button during your um, what do you call it pressure, because they cannot, they can no longer two H this. Because in the previous patch, as I said in my video, um, you can no longer two H that, but you can actually jab it. Um, so. If I can buttons, I'm just gonna try and make this as quick as possible because I know some people can switch off if the video is too long. So here we go. So right, there we go. So oh right, I got <laughs> sorry about that. I had it, I had everything switched off. I didn't realize. So that's playing that start. Okay, so. Everyone knows what that is, but if you bait it and make them think that you're gonna do the overhead, um, you can do this instead. So I'll show you a basic example. Ooh, didn't record it. I'm so bad at this. I apologize. Awesome. Okay. So. Cool. So that's so that's the overhead one. See, you can jab it if they start mashing. Sorry about that, but you, you saw what I was saying. You can jab them out of it. And then you're in trouble there because you just continue to mash that same interval. And then they've realized it. And because you haven't mixed that up, that's put you in. Uh, <laughs> you've put yourself in a mix up trying to mix up your opponent, if that makes sense. Or not paying attention to what you're actually doing. So by doing this, um, you can actually do setups by mixing up the intervals, of, as I said, of the different gears, but also putting a reflective, so, um, bang. So, that, for example, is risky, because if they bait you and wait, then you're in trouble, but if you know they're going to mash, for example, bang. See? They try to 
press you out because they thought you was going to go for the overhead. Bang, you stop them. Um, that's a prime example of something that you can do with 17. Um, alongside that, when you're going for pressure and you're doing this, and you're doing whatever, make sure to call your assistant to cover you. That's one thing you have to do because some people can vanish. Um, if you try and do this in their face, they will vanish or reflect and then you're in trouble. So make sure to like call in and assist to cover you when you're doing stuff. Um, also when you're applying pressure, you can use that to like mix them up um, by doing a cross up. It is quite noticeable because the sound's quite loud and he flashes yellow. <laughs> so it's a 50-50 but that's a prime example of a general game plan. Um, in terms of combos, um, a lot of people do this, I've seen, don't do that, um, I used to do that myself until I learned what else I could do, and this also goes along with what your team um, character, what your, what your assists are, so for example, you could do something like this, so by calling in for Cheetah, you have a chance of like, him, um, holding him in the air, and you can do setups. So a better example is that right there is perfect because you've dropped them in the corner. You can super if you want to because you've built up a meter, um, and yeah, it's, you've left them in the corner. So that's them in pressure now. When wake up, they have to actively get up. You're gonna do bang or go for a low, you know, um, or with a assist, with a beam assist, which I don't personally use, you could do, um, same result, you want to crash shot, um, he's got very good ball carry with his axle drives, um, so yeah, that's just like a basic game plan of what you want to be doing, if your opponent is going to um, if you can react to it. I'm not. This is not like general game plan, but <laughs> if your opponent does something crazy like this, okay, you can do this because you get you get invulnerability um, from their supers. I think a better example would be Goku. I think a better example would be Goku. I'm not sure if I can do it reversed. There you go. So yeah, um, you'll find that a lot online. Um, if you pressure the Goku to a corner or they're on wake up, they might wake up level 3. You can either, you know, reflect it and then punish. Or you can just do that if you want to stand on people. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it for the general game plan of 17. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that section. Now moving on to the second part, we're moving on to assists. So as I was saying, moving on to the assists, um, what I personally like to use um, is Super Saiyan Vegeta, as I showed you previously in the video. He has great... Um, can hold people down in a position um, if you're trying to do mix ups or something. It's very good for like holding people and knocking them down. You know, um, Goku Black I also use because I think beam assists are very good with 17. And having an alternation between the two is very, very good. Um, the only reason why I play Goku Black over Super Saiyan Goku is because he says Ningen. I think that's so cool, Japanese. Ningen. But um, <laughs> other than that, that's the two um, types of assists that I'd personally recommend a beam and something like Vegeta's assist. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend like Kid Buu. I mean it's good for holding people down and pressure but for combos and stuff I'm not too sure about how that like pan out. Um, and also with this team they all benefit from each other in a different way so even though say for example I don't have 17 out at some moment in the match I can still use 17 assists in the buff so um, so, so something like that, you know, it's still quite useful. Oh god, I've done it before. There you go. So you can do 
something like that. 17 is still useful. Um, he starts off with a shield, so if they do like a Kamehameha, he will block it even for you, so it's still quite useful. Um, in terms of assists like Yamcha, it can work. Um, Nappa, Frieza, 16 with like pop up assists. It can work. Um, I'll have clips of me doing combos with them, but it's they're iffy. I'm, I don't really like using those types of like assists with 17. These so far are my favourites. Um, Cell can work. I've used Cell before with 17, but I still prefer like Goku, Black or regular, which would say Goku. Um, wall bounce combos like Goku, uh, base Goku and Jiren. It's a lot of Goku's. Like base Goku and Jiren. They can work with 17. But at the end of the day, it's down to your own preference of what you want for the character. Um, but if you want to play it safe, keep them in the good boundaries, I'd say get a knock up assist or one that holds them down and also get a beat assist and you'll be good to go. Um, in terms of combos with these assists, I will show you right now um, a brief combo or something you can do with 17 and uh, like a lockdown assist and a beam assist, so... enjoy the video please leave a like um, and if you enjoy the content that I've been making recently um, or in the past do leave a subscri subscription because um, it does benefit me it's kind of like an incentive it helped me to keep going um, sometimes you know people make videos and just post them and you don't think you're getting anywhere but the support I've been getting recently is amazing and I thank all of you guys so yeah that's it for me peace if you have any other um, video suggestions that you want me to make regarding 17 do let me know in the comments below and yeah man, peace.